This is the third section of the chapter on Poisson distribution statistics, further statistics one, and this is add on adding uh, Poisson distributions. Let's make up an example. Let's say we've got a set of traffic lights, set of traffic lights, and uh, somebody's looking at the types of vehicles that pass that set of traffic lights. Um, and let's say that um, bicycle, so bicycles pass these sets of traffic lights, pass at a rate, at a rate of 16 per hour. Okay, maybe it's a lot more than that, we don't know. And um, motorbikes, motorbikes pass at a rate of uh, 20 per hour. And let's say I want to answer this question. Uh, what is the probability that uh, 15 of any type of bike, so that means that it's a, a bicycle or it could be a motorbike, they're both types of bike I suppose, um, pass um, the set of traffic lights in one hour okay so bicycles pass at a rate of 16 per hour motorbikes pass at a rate of 20 per hour what's the probability that 15 of any type of bike exactly 15 um, bicycle or motorbike pass a set of traffic lights in one hour so this can be modeled by a Poisson distribution so let's use x to stand for the number of bicycles that pass this set of traffic lights in an hour so that random variable can be modeled with a Poisson distribution with a rate of 16 and for the motorbikes let's use the letter y so this is for the motorbikes not more motro bikes motor bikes so we're using the to y for motorbikes and that can be modeled by a Poisson distribution at 20 per hour now what i do in a, a question like this i basically want to find the probability that uh, a bike or a motorbike um, gives me 15 of um, the types of bikes that pass and what I need to do is to work out well what's the rate at which any type of bicycle or bike passes so this would actually be um, the rate at which any type of bicycle passes uh, a bicycle or a motorbike and this would be a personal distribution well, I add together 16 and 20. So what I end up with is pass on distribution 36. Now, basically what the 36 means is any type of bike, a motorbike or a, um, or a bicycle. So if I want to find a probability, so the question now becomes this, um, working out this here, with lambda as 36. Yeah, so on our calculators, menu seven, and we would go for pass on PD number two on the second, once you've scrolled down to the second menu, I want a variable, and here X is gonna be 15, because I want to find 15, exactly 15 types of bike, and lambda would be 36. So I get a very tiny number which is 3.921 times 
10 to the minus 5, a very low chance. But the key to what we've been doing here is over here. Yeah, if I've got two Poisson distributions and I want to find a probability um, of success or getting a certain number from either of those probabilities, then I add their rates together. Yeah, and that is this bit here. That's the important bit there. Yeah, so let's use this to do some examples. Right, if uh, the random variable x is a Poisson distribution with a rate of 3.6 and y is a Poisson distribution of 4.4, first of all, in part a, find the probability that x or y gives you 7, exactly 7. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to work out what if it's the distribution of x and y that's going to be adding these rates together okay so uh, the distribution of x and y is going to be 8 so what we're doing in, in this question is with um, a rate of 8 lambda equal 8 we are going, going to use our calculator to work out the probability that x or y gives me exactly 7. That could be any combination of x or y and this is just using the calculator now. So we'll use um, Poisson um, PD again because it's only a single value we want and variable. So x or y so this will be 7 and my rate will be 8 and I get 0.139 and it's 5, 8 so that'll be uh, 6 at the end to four decimal places. So remember with these uh, distribution questions uh, we give our answers to four decimal places because that's traditionally what the tables work to. Right, okay, so we're doing x or y again. So it's still a Poisson distribution of 8 or, uh, or a rate of 8 and we want to find a probability that x plus y is less than or equal to 5. So this will mean going to uh, Poisson CD. So we'll choose that, that's number 3. Uh, variable again, and this time x is now 5. And the cumulative probability up to five, and that gets me uh, naught point one nine one two again to four decimal places. Okay, so the number of cars passing an observation point in a five minute period time interval is modeled by a Poisson distribution with a mean of two. Okay, so this is the number of cars. The number of other vehicles passing the observation point in a 15 minute interval is modeled by a Poisson distribution with a mean of 3. Find the probability that, right, before we do that, let's maybe just look at what uh, we need to set up in terms of distributions. So let's have x being the number of cars uh, passing the observation point um, in a five minute interval. Okay, which would mean x is distributed with a Poisson distribution at a rate of or a mean of 2 so this is for a 5 minute interval and y is going to be the number of other vehicles 
passing the observation point observation point in a 15 minute interval okay so that will be again a price on distribution with a, a mean or a rate of three so we need to remember that this two is for a five minute interval and this three is for 15 minute interval so don't forget that otherwise we could end up with uh, problems so i suppose i could label this part a because i would do it as part of part a and i want to find the probability that exactly five vehicles of any type so x or y is exactly five in a 10 minute interval okay so in a 10 minute interval what we'll have is that the rate at which the cars pass is going to be four and the rate at which the um, other vehicles pass so if it's three for 15 minutes it's only going to be two for 10 minutes so two so what we're going to have is um, a price on distribution let's write that correctly a price on distribution where the rate is going to be uh, two plus four or four plus two so really i should write this out fully i don't want to miss anything out so make sure you understand so this is the distribution of x or y so press on distribution of four plus two right so what we what we got so x plus y is a price on distribution of six a rate of six and we want to find the probability that x and y x or y is exactly five so we go to Price on CD on our calculators. So you might need to go back and change your mode. Price on PD. And uh, it's a variable with X as 5, Lambda as 6, and we get 0 0.1606 to 4 decimal places. Okay, part B. Uh, more than eight vehicles of any type pass the observation point in a 15 minute period. Okay, so in 15 minutes, let's just write that down here. So in 15 minutes, so we're going to have to scale up or scale down the rate at which the cars pass. In 15 minutes, that's 2 times 3, 6. And the rate at which the other vehicles pass. So we worked out that 5 minutes was um, was 2. Sorry, no, 10 minutes was 2. 15 minutes is 3. So at uh, 15 minutes, oh, that doesn't change, does it? It's still 3. Yeah, because that's what was given in the question. And we want to find the probability that um, any type of people x or y is more than eight more than eight so what's that equal to well if it's more than eight uh, because it's discrete that means that it's greater than or equal to nine um, so that's going to be one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to eight right so we're going to need poisson cd variable again uh, this time x is going to be 8 lambda is going to be um, uh, what did we say it was oh we haven't done that yet have we so um, 
we should do that. So x and y is distributed with a rate of 9. There we go. Should have done that from before. Yeah, we worked out the two individual ones here and here. We didn't put them together. So three plus, 6 plus 3 is 9. Yeah, so lambda is going to be 9. And we get, um, it's going to be 1 minus uh, 0.4557 to four decimal places. Now, to get the exact answer, I'm going to press menu and 1. Go back to calculator and do 1 minus answer. And I get uh, 0 0.5443. So 0.5443 will be the final answer for that one. Right, you should now be able to do um, exercise 2D on pages 28 to 29. So just as a recap, if uh, X is a uh, price on distribution with a rate of A, and Y is a different, price, uh, a different price on distribution with a rate of B, then um, if I want to work out the probability of X or Y, uh, for uh, any sort of value here, then what I do is uh, add the rates together. So the new price on distribution will have a rate of A plus B.